Education Minister John O'Dowd has officially opened a new £2.69 million premises for St Columbus Primary School in Straw. The new sixth class based school will cater for up to 175 pupils in the long term. The Minister joined parents, pupils, staff and governors at a special opening ceremony. I'm very, very proud of our school. So to be here is like magic for us. It's just fantastic. It has given everybody a real morale boost. It is, there's a great buzz about the place. The parents are thrilled. The community are delighted. I mean, we're just sitting here in the community and they want it so much for us and it's great. And on a practical level, we have beautiful, big, spacious classrooms with all this light that flows down from the ceilings. And we have loads of um, resource areas, which we didn't have. We have a massive assembly hall, which we didn't have at all before, which is so useful to us in so many ways. And it's just more comfortable and easier to deliver the curriculum in this beautiful environment. So you think it'll actually help you deliver better education to the children, even better education? Yes, even better education, yes, because we already did achieve a grade one in our last inspection in awful conditions. But yes, it will, of course, mm -hmm. especially in particular, um, we were in the enriched curriculum pilot for seven years and as a result we became aware of how important it was that children had outdoor play. Mm -hmm. So part of that with the architect meant that we got an outside um, we call it the garage, but it's a great big enormous space where we can put away bicycles and all the things that we need for our activity-based learning and our play-based learning and our structured play. All very important in Key Stage 1. And communal areas like that, they, they really have an impact, things like the, like having a, an assembly hall as well. It is, it's wonderful and the res resource areas are brilliant because if you're doing a topic, say for instance, at which we are at the moment on castles, you can leave it all sit sitting up. Whereas in the other place we, were, we couldn't have done that, there simply wasn't room to do that. So things like that, you know, and the place is more visual and there's more impact from the point of view that you can see what's going on in, in the classrooms because you're able to leave evidence out, which is great. And other facilities too, such as better canteen facilities as well, would that be right? Yes, we have a fantastic kitchen and our kitchen's a great kitchen anyway and the staff are wonderful in it, but they have a fantastic kitchen now to work with and it's great for them. So really, you know, the school can look to the future now with, with real optimism? We certainly can, yes. We're a very good team. We always worked well together. And this has given us such a boost that I, can't I couldn't put it into words. It's wonderful. Grace, what do you like about the new school? It's very big and colourful. Mm -hmm. And is it, uh, is it more airy and bright than yeah. the old school? Yeah. Kiva, what's your favourite thing about the new school? Well, the whiteboards are more better and the chairs are more better, so that would be my favourite thing. My favourite thing about probably is the playground because you've got plenty of space to play games and football. And uh, a whole range of sports? Yeah, you can play dodgeball and basketball and rounders as well because the lines have marked it out. I like there's a wee soft place um, in the playground that you can play and um, like we we it is a wee bit funner. Um. And what about the computer the computer facilities? Are they better? Yeah. All the computer would you use the computers a lot? Yeah. What do you use them for? We usually type up things about what we're learning. Very good. Very good. That every day would you be on the computers? Maybe not most days. Most days. Most days. Minister, we're here at St Columbus Primary School in Straw. What do you think of the new facilities? It's fantastic facilities and to think that it was only in August uh, 2011 that the first sod was dug here. In fact, it was my first official engagement in relation to the opening of new schools. The, the premises was funded originally by my counterpart, uh, Katrina Iran, but on the 15th of August 2011, we were standing in this vacant field cutting the sod. Here we are uh, two years later, the school's open from September 2012. So. A significant investment uh, in this local community and a worthwhile investment for the future of the young people and indeed the broader community. Uh, it's really a first class learning environment, it's uh, state of the art facilities, isn't that right? St without doubt, state of the art facilities. Th these young people have come from a school built in the 19th century. Here they are standing in a 21st century uh, modern environment, with modern facilities. But the most important thing in any school is, is good leadership. 
good teachers and we have all the combinations here so I'm confident this school will go from strength to strength. And you mentioned this was uh, this school was announced by your predecessor Katrina Ruan. Um, you've actually added to that investment since you've taken office, isn't that right? I have, yes. Over the last year or so I've made announcements of over £350 million pounds in our school's estate. I want to see more new modern facilities like this going in uh, into communities across across the north. We're also heavily investing in school maintenance. Last year we spent £45 million pounds mm-hmm. on school maintenance. We're investing heavily in minor works programmes. We have the schools and enhancement programme coming online. So despite the very difficult economic times we live in, we are investing in our schools estate. We're seeing improvements and of course I along with the school sector want to see more. And just lastly, Minister, have you a message to the, the pupils and the staff here? Well, firstly, I want to congratulate the staff and the Board of Governors, and indeed the community for the long, hard campaign they fought to have a new school built here. It's always uh, a lot of time invested from the community and Board of Governors to get to this stage. We're at this stage. For the staff and the pupils, I wish them all the best in their modern facilities. They're, they're very, very lucky, and I know that they appreciate the, the public investment that has been here, and I have no doubt this will be a benefit to the community of Ballinish Green and Straw for many, many years to come.